Hello. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> so, our grand adventure in building outposts has been somewhat subverted by suddenly being a spy because I may or may not have flown contraband into the... You know what? The worst part is the contraband was probably on me, not even on the ship. I probably had the contraband. Because <sighs> I probably picked up Aurora off one of the mercs. Silly, silly sausage that I am. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. Okay. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? It is. I think I understand. So basically, you want me to steal from thieves. And that's if I'm accepting the Crimson Fleet. Um, why do you need physical evidence? Yeah, I guess. Why do you need physical evidence? I mean, I kind of well, since it is got an idea, we but stumble across a criminal's fully written confession. We need to build a case against our suspects. The more evidence we acquire, the stronger our case becomes. And knowing the Crimson Fleet, they'll leave plenty of evidence for you to find. But hang on, this kind of flies in the face of what I was told, and that. You didn't want, like, you, your objective isn't to take on the Crimson Fleet. I can't imagine they're just going to hand themselves over to the justice system, no matter what evidence you've got, without causing a war. So that doesn't actually make much sense. Okay, that's if I'm accepted into the Crimson Fleet. You better make it, because Commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground. I want data slates, computer okay. downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. But it won't matter if... Oh, okay, whatever. Sounds like you have a personal vendetta against the Crimson Fleet. I'm simply trying to understand my task, Lieutenant. And I'm going to call you Lieutenant, Lieutenant, because that's how the word is said, Lieutenant. It's not Lieutenant, it's Lieutenant. <sighs> Security. If there's incriminating data out there, I will find it. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Well, you've got the sad face as well. That's how we know that we're meant to feel sad. Hickson! Uh, yes, I was probably holding on to some murky stuff. <laughs> yes. Both... Literally and and metaphorically, sadly. Also, also, Nightbot, Nightbot, you can calm, calm your jets, my dude. Right, there we go. Dunk, disable the timer. Dunk. There we are. Sorry about that, chat. All right. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What? They want to build a case against pirates, but I can slaughter spaces wholesale on the surface of Mars and come back to tell the UC security that I murdered all those people, and they just go, good, great job. But she wants to build a case. I know exactly Sudan Noodle. It's it's rather conflicting, especially um, since her commanding officer specifically said thought? we're not trying to to fight them because if we fought them, it would just be all out war and that would incur losses we can't afford. So we're trying to cause them to collapse from the inside. I don't know. So it's a weird one. Unless they think that maybe if they just arrest some key people at the top and they, they're using this evidence to find out who the head of the organization is, I, maybe. You feel like talking about it? I'm no hero. I'm here because I had no choice. I've seen my fair share of violence. I'll bring you as much evidence as I can find. You feel like talking about it? I doubt she's going to want it, but I am kind of curious. What? No. It's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission and you'll be fine. Fair enough. I'll bring you as much evidence as That's I can. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Mm -hmm. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. As compensation for your efforts. Aha. Uh -huh. It's very generous. I don't need payment to do what's right. Credits. Now you're speaking my language. Why would you be paying credits during a military operation? Uh... It's very generous. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch, 
Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Okay. Um... What if I get caught with a container of Aurora in my cargo hold? Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find yeah. out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation, well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. Fair enough. Alright. We'll be here if you need us. I probably won't, but... Before you proceed to the next phase of your mission. Well, since you asked... If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. No, I asked them you already. I do. Alright. Yes, what? I'll chat. Guess it's a pirate's life for me. Unless... Huh. Huh. Dum, 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 dum. Look, it's their fault for letting me loose on the ship. Pirate operations. Reports of pirate activity continue to plague the settled systems. While the mission board supply us with intel, the fleet often changes its target to keep us guessing. According to Toft's report, there are three types of operations the fleet uses to fill its coffers. Piracy, smuggling, and theft. They have honed these operations under their current leadership, and we would do well to study their tactics so that we can better protect the settled systems. There is an old saying that to fight the enemy, one must know their enemy. The afo uh, aphorism, while trite, still holds true today. Like many disorganized groups, the Crimson Fleet uses guerrilla tactics. They utilize the element of surprise to their advantage, grav jumping and quickly striking their targets before fleeing the scene. These are not revelatory tactics. Throughout history, ambush, deception, sabotage and espionage have been the tools smaller groups employ to outnumber larger naval forces. SysDef was formed in order to fight this foe in a non-traditional sense. It's up to the leadership to find creative ways to do that without sacrificing the principles we hold dear. Personal documents. Drugs are bad, okay, yes. That's right, Bilal. Well done. State of the Vigilance. After speaking with Commander Natara, Lieutenant Toft has assured me that Project Svalin has been fully tested by the engineers at SY920 and approved by MAST. If everything goes according to plan, we will begin implementation immediately. When the time comes, this upgrade will be essential for what we have planned. It's no secret that we've had trouble explaining to the officials at MAST the urgency of the Crimson Fleet Menace. Despite the fact that they are a disorganized band of pirates, they must be treated as a criminal organization that poses a threat to the safety of the settled systems. Unfortunately, without intel on the inner workings of the Crimson Fleet, much of this is yet speculation. We need someone on the inside to help us fill the blanks. This is why I've requested records of ever, every prisoner detained by the United Colonies. Surely there is a candidate amongst them who will suit our needs. Huh, okay. That's how they got us. There are years when nothing happens, and years that can define a life. I was 16 when I first took the skies, 17 when it all came crashing down. Began with a ship. Earlier that year, my father had salvaged a wreck from the war, a B-class Demos fighter from an abandoned shipyard. It was old, outdated, and put it bluntly, uh, sorry, and to put it bluntly, a piece of junk. The controls were shaky, the plating was rusted, and the engine coughed like it had a bad lung. But none of that mattered to me. I was hooked from the very first grab jump. You see, up until that point, I had often struggled to focus. Nothing I did had any long-term appeal. That all changed the moment I took the Demos Junker out to the space lanes. For the first time in my life, I could see a life for me beyond the present. This ship, for all its loose wires, dents, and pockmarks, gave me purpose. Something I could devote my life to. Three months later, I was an escort for my father's freighter. Ten months later... We were attacked by the Crimson Fleet. Most days, I think about my father, the kind, gentle man who raised me. I think about how much poorer this galaxy is without his laughter soaring through its membrane. And other times, my thoughts turn to his son, the boy with the star-bright eyes and the future he lost. When I am conf confronted by this boy, my resolve begins to wane. I want him to forgive me for the man I've become, 
one consumed by hate and vengeance. I stand wordless as he tugs at the corners of my jacket, tears flowing down his cheeks, begging me to let my anger go, and in that moment every part of me wants to embrace him and tell him exactly what he needs to hear. I want to tell him I will drop this accursed chase and give his future the chance it deserves. But instead, I turn away. I leave him crying, alone in the void of space. But what he does not re what sorry, <clears throat> but what he does not realize is that I am doing this for him. I fight the Crimson Fleet for all the fathers and futures futures lost to a world that never should have been. And when I think of them, my resolve returns, and I have purpose once more. Oh, okay. Oof. Come back catalog. Slightly increase the range and accuracy of combat uh, combat tech weapons. Okay, combat tech catalog. Nice. That's actually not bad. So we have slightly better function on a very specific brand of weapons. I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. Don't mind me. They got so bad I had to dust yes. off half my ship dangling parts. I totally said don't mind me. Oh, what on earth? Oh. Oh, well, hello turret. My lord. Let's not do anything in the sight of that. Or, you know, on this ship because I'm fairly certain they could kill me. Hello. The gravity paradigm. I'll take that for my collection. Truth is, what our scientists didn't know back then could fill volumes. The focus, of course, was on wormholes, and not only creating, but maintaining a stable and sustainable einstein rosen bridge. That was the goal. The end point? No one had even considered that. Maybe that was just the beginning. Uh, actually, I think we've we've read that one before. All of the twists. We've definitely read all of the twists before. I could go out there, or I, I could go out this way. Told. I'm fairly certain I do. Thanks. Ooh, okay. A notebook? That's one chonky bloody notebook, my lord. Pardon. You're pardoned. Don't do it again. Oh, that's your chunks apple. I don't want any more chunks apples. I've had my fill of chunks. Hey. Operation Center. Hi. Um, stand clear. <laughs> of course, uh, stand clear. I just go and rub my face on it a bit. All right. Look, I am a loot goblin. Okay. I have to do loot goblin things. Hello. If you have any questions, save them for Commander Ikande. Well, Alex Vong. I don't know about you. Okay. You don't know me. No, I don't. But I do know the previous occupants of that interrogation chair you were sitting in. Okay. Not good people, to say the least. I think one of them even strangled a man with his teeth. It's called biting. It's not called strength, it's called biting. But if Commander Ikande says you're Sistef, then you are one of us. For now. How did you get involved with Sistef? Long story. I got my start in the academy and made a name for myself hunting the Crimson Fleet. I eventually got recruited to do test flights on a star station orbiting Lloyden's Rock. Me and three other Archangel pilots did some work on some extremely dangerous prototypes. But I called in a few favors and got back home with Sistef. Someone with my talents needs to be here, where the action is. Fair enough. You're a pilot then? You guessed it. In fact, I'd say you've got what linguistic experts call FOGO. A firm grasp of the obvious. <laughs> but I'm not just I like it. Pilot. I like it a lot. I'm the best. And I've got the kills to prove it. Okay. 
I don't just grasp the obvious. I have it in a chokehold with my teeth. Don't squeeze too hard, newbie. Someone might mistake it for sarcasm. Where did you learn to fly? I cut my teeth on space trucks, believe it or not. Before I got my stripes, I was just another cargo hauler trying to earn an honest wage. But after a couple slick escapes, I got recruited to the academy and went from dodging pirates to hunting them. Hey, am I? Guess, some of my best tricks were with a big rig. Ever try a pitch back with a Hope Tech truck with two fleet wraiths on your tail? I have not. I, can, I can't say I have. Doing it with a military fighter is a piece of cake. Duly noted. Try not to forget who you are, okay? It did break the commander's heart to have to hunt you down. I'm. I'd probably make it easier on him. I'm going to be honest. Uh, port docking port computer. Docking port one. Occupied. Clearance authorized. Ship information. Division Sysdef. Captain Avak. Ship Ecliptic Stiletto. Ship status operational. Okay. Unoccupied ready, authorized UC ships only. Ah, support one is where I need to be. But. I mean, I could do that, or I could go where I'm not meant to be. Docking ports 02. Unoccupied ready, unoccupied ready, so no ships that I can go and pilfer. Very sad. Oh, no, okay. I kind of like this, though, I'm going to be honest. The fact that all of those posts go somewhere. Also, this ship is amazing. I'm, I'm loving walking around this place. Huh. Requires computer. Huh. Hello? Don't mind me. Official SysDef business that I have been assigned to that requires that I take all of the stuff that isn't nailed down uh, and also stuff that can be used to make things that may or may not be nailed down in the future on the hull of a ship aha zero one I wonder which one I was in chat yeah. I mean it's the lights out so Interesting. Hello. Scoozy. More up here. Who knows? Maybe I can find a Crimson Fleet member and have a bit of a chat at before I head out. Doesn't look like it. It's a shame. Um. Is the uh, ceiling slippery? Uh, I can't even pull it down. Fair enough. I shall leave it there. Watch out about walking on the ceiling, Hello. chat. It's very slippery, apparently. Break computer. Avak, wondering why he got arrested. Also, Avak, stealing from the police after being given a buy. It's fine. Break protocols. The Vigilance Brig is a high-level confinement facility for captured and pre-trial prisoners charged with piracy. The Brig ensures the security and safe transport of all prisoners to United Colonies Correctional Facilities under the guidance of Commander Ikande and ranking officers of the Vigilance. The Brig stra staff is responsible for maintaining and enforcing these directives. Handcuffs and guard escort are standard when transporting prisoners. Those assigned to maximum security cells may require additional security measures to prevent escape. We should attempt to accommodate prisoner requests within reason. Looser restraints and comfortable seating can be supplied upon request. The United Colonies will typically use mid-sized Demos ships for shuttling prisoners to the correctional facility. Oh, at least they're not completely heartless about it. Look, some people have thick wrists. Huh. Right. Can I just go in this room, maybe, and scrub Pardon. any data? No, it doesn't look like I can. Oh, well. So how is High Rise, out of curiosity? I actually really enjoyed it. It seems that there's a load more to do on it as well, beyond what we got to in the stream. 
pirating business? Uh, you know, I'm not like, doing too much yet. <sighs> Where were you when I got arrested? You're the greatest explorer in the settled systems. Well, they should. Oh. Um. Drag them out. Oh, I'm sorry about what I'm doing to your neck. I really am. Come on. Uh, uh, no, that's right. Yep. Yep. Okay. This guy needs a hug. I'm going to put him here for you. Okay. Do you think also, a documentary about your life will be made into a movie? And um, who do you think will play me? Uh, hmm. Who do you think would play the fan, chat? Yeah, there's some company for you. It's just he's having a rest. Gotcha. Oh my lord. He's very, very wibbly wobbly. I brought you a pet you or a snack. You greatest. can decide. No, I know. I am. Better You're very welcome. Enjoy. Morgan Freeman would play the fan. <laughs> hmm. Fair enough. Um. Right, okay. It's undock. Okay, so mission is deep cover. Burden of proof. Search for evidence and deep cover. Proceed to Sidonia. However, how about instead of doing that, okay, instead of that, I go somewhere else. What would you say if instead of going to Sidonia, I first... Well, should I even go to Alpha Centauri? I, I could have... You know what, chat? The stupid thing is, I could, probably could have just gone to Mars to sell all my stuff. That's the stupid, funny thing, is I probably could have just gone to Mars the whole time. Go to Sidonia. It's launch pad. Yes, I do want to sell the ship that I'm in, yeah. That's the goal. I don't believe that this place is where I actually wanted to be, though, I'm going to be honest. I get the impression that, in f actual fact, I should have landed elsewhere. So, let's just go and land elsewhere. Speak with Trevor. Are we actually here to speak with Trevor? I mean, I guess the landing area could be what I wanted. Um, let's travel to Cydonia. We'll just see how that goes. It may be that I'm landing in exactly the right place. Okay, there we go. Where did we land, though? Because I'm going to have to find my way back there eventually. Ah, oh, balls. Okay. Hello. Need some work done? I do. 
Um, yes. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always buying. Kiosk right here for you. Yeah. Sure. How about it? One of your ships is unregistered. You must register this little register this ship before you can modify or upgrade it. Okay. How does one exactly do that? Uh, no, this is actually a class A. It's not even a class B. Huh. Hmm. Bottom right corner. Oh, register, yeah. 10k. Uh... Okay, so one of the things that I'm aware of is that you can't just make a ship from scratch. You have to have a ship hull to turn into another ship. I could just keep this ship around in my fleet and eventually change it. Or I guess I... Hmm. Let me see about buying and selling ships. I want to see how much I can sell it for. Like. The value 768 was the... Uh, can I go to, sp uh, to sell? Yeah. Oh. Um, right, I'd need to register it, but how much would this be worth? Value 12k. So I'd make 2,967. It's barely worth it, but you know what? I'm willing to do so. It would make more sense for me if I were to gain the, um, oh, I can't sell my home ship, okay. Can I switch my home ship? How okay, would I switch my home ship then? Make home ship. There we go. Yep. It's kind of a palaver having to I'm jump sure through all of this. But... You like. So this is the first ship that we have commandeered and then sold. And we'll make a, a paltry two grand on it. You know what? It's not the worst. There we go. I would like okay, to modify no my ship. Can I sell the modules from the ship without registering it? Uh, no, because to modify the ship at all, I have to, uh, I have to uh, register it. So to s remove the modules, I would need to register it. Can I upgrade anything on this? Field. Can I upgrade that? No. What about... The, well, look at the engines. Nope, can't upgrade those. Grav drive. I can't upgrade that. That would be a downgrade. Actually, I could upgrade this one. It's just uh, it doesn't really help me. That would be a downgrade as well. 20S goes to 10S. Yeah. What about the electron beam? What kind of weapons have we got here? Uh, I've got the disruptor auto electron beam. Fire rate goes up. This just increases the hull damage and the shield damage. It could just be a pure missile ship. That would not work. It would not work. The EMP-80 suppressor. Hull damage is 72. Electromagnetic damage is 48. A max... Ooh. Possible second weapon system, maybe? If I just want to take a ship down, 
instead of w wiping stuff out. That might honestly be what we want to go for. Because the electron beam, I mean, they, they're great for tearing a shield uh, a weapon system offline. We've got the 330 electron beams right now. Fire rate of 3.49. Weirdly, this has got hull damage and shield damage of 24. But this... Oh yeah, it's 26, not 24. I am kind of, kind of tempted to put in the EMP-80 suppressor, though. Let's attach something. There, I want structural. Not a portal. I want a weapon mount if they've got it. Oh, do they not have those weapon mounts? Oh, that's unfortunate. Ugh. Okay, never mind. How about down here then? Isn't that a connection point? No, it's not. Try it. Well, I guess I might be able to pop a weapon on here. Let's see. No. Right, right, right. Um... I would need something with a connection point to the side, really. And that ain't gonna happen, not there. Oh well, that's a shame. Would have been nice to get a, uh, a weapon mount to go on top, but it would have interfered with the docker as well. I should imagine. That being said, let's let's just double check. Is there any flat thing with a connection point on top that I could use? Let's just have a look. Can I then Oh I can. Maybe. Technically, that still works. Looks awful, though. I would prefer to get some sort of mount for this. Let's just um, cancel the modification. I wish there was a little more explanation on what parts can connect to what. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, Bilal. Very much with you on that. Okay. Let's see about selling some junk. Uh, I actually want to keep those. Apparel. Teal engineering outfit. I'm kind of happy with what I've got. Cryptic space helmet can go. Cryptic pack can go. Robbery got a bunch of Grendels that I no longer need. And modif modified Grendels down here. I've already got a skip shot Grendel, so I don't need these. There we are. Uh, in terms of aid, yeah, we, we will have lost a lot, unfortunately, there. That's just the way that one's going to go, uh, sadly to say. Meal tray. Three stack, sure, that can go. Right, I want to go get back on our ship, drop off some things. Wee. I very much like having a boost pack, chat. Have you been able to tell? I'm sincerely 
satisfied with our acquisition of the ability to boost. Look, I hit my head. Maybe I should be less fussy about that. Okay. First and foremost, um, Ali, can I cook anything? I really can't. That shocks me. All right. What did we put our skill point in last? It was geology. Okay. I need to drop off my notes. Then I want to drop off all of my resources. Oh no, our mass is too high. God damn it. Let's drop all that off again. Um, see, I don't want to get rid of that stuff. That's the problem. But I am going to have Your to sell a lot of things. Health will be compromised by carrying so many items. Pasco, please. I didn't spend all that time training my core muscles so that you'd have to worry about my spine folding like origami. I am fine. I just need to flex and all my spine problems go away. Hello. Sell from Frontier. Why? Why is it full of such gubbins? I swear, every single time we do any kind of modification to a, to a ship, it just fills up with absolute gump. Got so many notepads. Why have I got so many notepads? Sell all those items. I didn't even look at what they were. I probably shouldn't have done that, in fact. But here we are doing it anyway. Oh no. Oh no. Um, oh no. I shouldn't have. Ah! Chat! What have I done? <laughs> uh, no. I can't. I can't undo it. It's like you can't do both things. Can I try and sell something else? Code Gremlins just killed the loot goblin. Yep. It's, it's, it's actually why the game is completely frozen. I don't know when it's saved. I think it saves trip quite often when I transition. Ah, Paui, I hope you enjoyed the VODs. You have a good one. Well, this is what mods do. They kill your game. In the most beautiful and wonderful of ways. But kill your game, they do. So, once the game has, has decided that it, it, it's done, we can start playing again. We'll jump back in. Hey, not all of the mods. <sighs> yeah, when you modify the ship, it creates a new cell. And the engine can't retain item positions between old cell and new cell, so shoves everything in storage. Yep. You can, effectively, just... Cheese. Impossible amounts of gubbins out of that. Autosave on Mars. Oh, thank goodness. Is it before or after I sold the other ship? It's a risk one accepts. A deal with one devil to help deal with another. Sudan Noodle, and is, that is an incredibly poetic way to say it. A deal with one devil to help deal with another. I love it. Well played. Aha! Am I... Yes, my, my spine is complaining a little bit still. Good, good, good. Whee! Incoming! Oh, right at the last second there, champ. Last second. Okay, let's do sail from the frontier. Let's 
scooch down, make sure there's nothing in here that I need need at all that is not. So sell all from category. Stop. Done. Jobs are good. Enough. Right. I want that one. I don't want that. I, I kind of like that one, but we're not going to keep it. Space rogue outfit. I mean, how can I not be okay with a space rogue outfit? Come on. So it's any wonder why I'm not wearing that right now. Um, hmm. The calibrated Star Roma Space Helmet. Calibrated. So, what's the difference between a calibrated and a regular one? 22 up to 30. So, that's a big jump. Is it just a flat increase of 8 across everything? It is a flat increase of 8 across everything. Not in terms of the. Um. Not in terms of the uh, protection of thermal and such, but... Hmm. Okay. We'll keep that one, but I'm going to sell everything else. I probably shouldn't have sold the Constellation Helmet. That's probably rude. Let me quickly buy that back. I just feel a little bit rude, you know? Or otherwise, good to go. Uh, packs, now. Deep Recon Pack is a nice one, but comparing it to what I've got... It's a little bit better in some ways, but... Not in physical. A lead-lined deep mining pack. Bunch of extra radiation resistance is nice, but I don't really need it. Technician's ground crew pack. No, I just don't care for that one. I don't... I mean, it's nice, but it's not the right thing for me. I should imagine I'm going to get better ones. The deep recon pack is a sincerely good one, though. Just because it's high resist across the board. Um, that being said, I still don't think it's as good as what we've got. Uh, we're going to say goodbye to this. I don't see a need to keep it. I'm, of course, keeping the high school backpack because it's a gift from mum. Uh, get rid of these. So, we can't sell both. I mean... Oh well, I mean, we've gotten rid of everything we can. Fair enough. We've shared some weight out of the frontier. Wait, frontier's mass is 164 out of 135? No, that's my mass. Look, Vasco, I'm sorry, but going the wrong way, buddy. Woo! Poor Vasco, he's like... He's just staring at me like... Oh, oh, he's gone. Oh, where's he gone? Am I going to be assassinated by an angry robot? No, he's just biding his time. Okay. Show off. Complete show off. Right, let's go drop these off. Hopefully, yeah, now we've got a nice bit of uh, room in here. Ah, yes. Uh, also, um, no, that's also a quest. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we should be able to drop all of that off, I should imagine. I don't need two helmets. 
and everything else seems to be okay. All right, we're getting somewhere now. Oh, I've got so much stuff in here. I need to sell. I'll sell a bunch of this. I'm going to sell an absolute load of these in Cydonia. So I'll, I'll bring them with me. Where the heck has the fan gone? I don't like not knowing where he is. Where is he? You oh. think I think? <sighs> Zag, I zag. I am your sidekick, your shadow, your tail. You waited for me to come around before you, you were holding your breath. You little scoundrel, you. I saw a smudge of dirt on your ship the other day. Don't worry. I obliterated it with every cleaning product known to man. No speck of soil is getting near you. Not if I can help it. Right. Let me trade gear with you. mine is yours. Legally, I've signed the papers. Chat, I feel a shiver kind of just building at the, at the top of my spine, waiting to just go straight down it. That, that almost pushed it over the edge. Almost. My lord. Uh, right, I'm going to take all of that because I'm going to give you a different weapon. Oh. Hmm. Be right back. Being part of your crew is just... Ah, nice. Yeah. There we go. I can switch to the cargo hold. Thank you very much, chat. I'm going to give you an Equinox. Uh, do I have a good Equinox to give you? I'll give you one. I'll give you a, an Equinox. I'll also give you a modified Ripshank and a modified Maelstrom. That's the best. There was a small bit of dust on your shoulder. How dare it try to spoil perfection? But don't worry, I blew it off. There's always room in my pack for your things. I, I, uh, Why am I, no, that's not me. That was the adoring fan. How dare you even imply, game. Rude. There we go. Right, adoring fan. No! I should have grabbed a helmet and a pack and a spaceship, shouldn't I? Okay, I'm going to give you a grenade. Not because I trust you with them, but precisely because I don't trust you with them. I will also give you exactly one laser cartridge. Demi of Derp said, It's okay, Avak. You have my permission to do a murder. Thank you, Demi. Uh, and a Maelstrom uses 6.5 millimeter. You may have exactly one of these. Don't know if they'll use healing items, honestly. They might. I doubt it, though. Give you one of these. We'll see if you'll only use one or whether you will. Uh, Let me know if you want to talk some more. Whether you'll actually consume that. Need a pack. I'm not giving you my, the pack that my mother gave. I refuse. Uh, you can have the calibrated Star Roamer's helmet and the pirate. Uh, actually, actually, you can have the ecliptic spacesuit. You're just gonna have to do without a boost pack until I remember to keep one for you. You're looking splendid today, Cap. Yes, let's. Trading with one's companion is a holy ritual. You're making it sound dirty. Why are you making it sound dirty? <sighs> also, you can have the poison rip shank. Okay, that's it. That was a good talk. It'll be hard to top it, but you always manage. 
Right up. Please watch your step near the entrances to the mines. Oh god, for a second I thought Avak was asking him to follow. I, I was tempted. I'm not going to lie, chat. I was tempted because you seem to be so happy with my misery. I was tempted to make sure you felt it too. There is no way they don't expect people to do that. Yeah, Crystal Rain, that's why I gave him all of that gear. It's because I do feel bad for him. It hurts me that I do, but I do. The Lux condos aren't anything special, but plenty of people call them home. Okay. Careful near the railings on the upper levels. It's a long way down. Right, yeah. If you see any trouble, you let us know. I used to think I was Vanguard material. Until I discovered that space travel turns my stomach in knots. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be talking with, like, the law right now. Actually, thinking about it. Maybe I should just go about my day and go and find who I'm meant to talk to. Personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, good to see you again. Still think there might be room for me on your crew? Uh, hmm. What could you bring to the table if I let you join me? I'm a real expert in the gunner scene. Have to be, since I usually fly solo. I'll knock out any targets we come across. That's a promise. I mean, yes, I'd like to join okay, me. Okay, I'm game. I could use a break from the solar system. Crew from any location can be assigned to a landed ship. Okay. So, you're unassigned, you're unassigned. Can I assign you? No assigns currently available. I, 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 could just, I, I, could just, I could just say goodbye to you. I mean... Because you're actually better than Vasco in terms of EM systems. Aeronautic fusion and shield systems, though, yeah, not quite so much. Hmm. I mean, say what you want about the adoring fan. They're good at scavenging, they're sneaky, and they can carry a lot. If it weren't for their personality, they'd be an amazing companion. Outpost, Avic. Outpost! No! I must do side quests. I must. I need to increase the crew capacity on my current ship. I wonder how I do Give that. Me a few to get my things together. Then I'll get to work. See you in the space lanes, Captain. Yeah, sure. See you in the space lanes. Do I have a bounty? Oh, mission boards. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Ghost 2. Uh, Ganibu. Destroy the Crimson Fleet with... Uh, white at... Uh, Karine. Karine. Kill the Ecliptic Agent on Bradbury 4. Transport traders to Aquila. Survey Altair 2 in Altair. Hmm. Some of these are actually quite nice. These survey ones are really nice. Not gonna lie, I'm impressed with that. Hey, careful around the equipment. Don't want to lose an arm or something. That's true. I don't. That's very, very true. Anyone in here? Bucks. That's where you make the big bucks. See, you know, if someone's worth talking to, is if they have a name that you can tell just by looking at them. If they're wearing a name tag. They are a person of interest, like you, outpost man. Well, okay, you're just an outpost Hello. management specialist. Andromeda Kepler has probably got something about her. Been in the vanguard a long time. The faces change, but 
Particles weapon specialist. This is a bar, basically, it's where I find crew. The dead look in her eyes. They found another new fresh water deposit in one of the mines. Like, this. Okay, no, they, 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 they look a little. No, no, they're back to looking dead. They, for a moment, they look more alive, but. For a moment, seeing her eyes like that gave me such total recall flashbacks. Ain't you brave coming to see a bona fide tracker? Hello. Hey, darling. You look like the type who doesn't mind getting their hands dirty. The Trackers Alliance can always well, use I mean. more bounty hunters to round up and kill wanted criminals. If that feels like your speed, talk to me. Or check out our posts on the mission boards. I mean, I could help you out with a job if you're paying. Can you tell me more about the mission boards? What's the Trackers Alliance? Oh, darling. We're the baddest bounty hunters in the settled systems. People pay us to find criminals, scum, and other low lives when they don't want to or can't track them down themselves. Are you saying bad in the sense of good or bad in the sense of bad? Because, eh. Got any good bounty hunting stories? Ooh, should I tell you? Uh, what the hell? It got me in trouble, but it's a good story. Oh, I like so, it already. I got a bounty for this guy. Real tough spacer, you know? I find a ship board without him knowing and I literally catch him with his pants down getting ready for the day or something I don't know uh -huh. anyway before he can react I tackle him to the ground to cuff him and he lets off a sly quip thinking he's got game but I don't take kindly to that kind of advance see hey. and well bounty says alive or dead so I make the call and I put him down Anyway, turns out it wasn't the right guy, but this guy was also wanted. What were the odds, right? Well, the Alliance didn't think it was as fun as I did, so now I'm stuck here helping new recruits. Uh, that was an amazing story. Thank you so much for sharing it. That is just perfect. I love it. That was amazing. 10 out of 10. Ten out of ten. The last said, to catch here in Sidonia. I know he's just checking for names, but in my head, Havoc is walking up to everyone and sniffing them for loot. Yeah, that's right. All right. Can you tell me more about the mission, the mission boards? boards? Yeah, you'll find one here in the Broken Spear. They're usually in spaceport bars like that. Trackers Alliance posts bounty jobs on them, but you can find all sorts of freelance missions. Good way to make some creds. Hey, y'all yep. better not be taking all the fun jobs yourself, you hear? I'm almost done with this assignment, so you better leave some for me. No promises. Yeah, well, see ya. Canic robot. Canic no names. I can smell the lack of loot from here. Very sad. I forgot that my scanner could tell me if someone's got a name tag. Names, no, no, no loot, no names, no name, no loot. Except if I had the ability to thief, uh, in which case everyone has loot, at least once. Oh, trade authority. Hello, Okai Enbaya. Take your time and ask Hello. me if you need anything. I'm here. I to need help. something. Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the trade authority? Yes. I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. You seem like a very nice person, Monaki. Uh, can you tell me more about the trade? Uh, here, the trade authority sometimes deals in illicit goods. Is that true? What a weird way to ask. What's the strangest thing you've seen come through here? Yo! This dude came in once trying to sell this whack looking fish or something. 
it was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. Good size, too. I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took in things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did. And I had to process the sale and store the thing. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder, someone came in and bought it like right away. The hell's that about, right? <laughs> I've got a funny feeling that uh, our good friend here doesn't quite know exactly what the Trade Authority does. That sounds like a very, very specific kind of trade was going on. Cool. That's what we do here. <laughs> 